On April 13th, in the year 2029, this asteroid named Apophis. So, we know for certain that Apophis, on Friday the 13th, April 2029, it's the size of the Rose Bowl. It'll get close enough to Earth that it will dip below Earth's communication satellites. It'll be the biggest, closest thing ever to come, known to come near Earth. Here's the catch. Its orbit remains sufficiently uncertain. There is an interval range where if it threads that keyhole, we call it a keyhole, it's a 600 mile, about 600 mi 700 mile range. If its orbit goes through that range, Earth's gravity will be just right, or rather, just wrong, <laughs> so that it will alter its orbit so that it will hit us seven years later. In the vast expanse of the universe, there are celestial wanderers that capture our imagination and stir our curiosity. Among them is Apophis, a colossal asteroid set to make a daring cosmic cameo in the year 2029. This celestial event promises to be a spectacle like no other, blending science fiction intrigue with real-life cosmic drama. Discovered in 2004, Apophis immediately seized the attention of astronomers worldwide. Named after the ancient Egyptian god of chaos and destruction, it seemed fitting for this enigmatic space rock, measuring a whopping 370 meters in diameter. But it wasn't just its size that caused a stir. It was its trajectory. In 2029, Apophis will embark on a cosmic odyssey, hurtling perilously close to our own blue planet. This isn't just a casual celestial pass. We're talking about a brush with Earth so close that it will skim past within the orbits of our geostationary satellites. It's the kind of celestial ballet that makes you hold your breath and marvel at the wonders of the cosmos. Now, when news first broke of Apophis's impending visit, it sparked a wave of excitement and, let's admit it, a hint of trepidation. After all, when an asteroid the size of Apophis comes knocking on Earth's celestial door, it's hard not to wonder if it might overstay its welcome. Initial calculations even hinted at a slim chance of a cataclysmic collision, sending imaginations soaring into doomsday scenarios. But fear not, fellow Earthlings. As scientists delved deeper into the mysteries of Apophis, they unraveled a reassuring truth. There's no cosmic catastrophe on the horizon. Through meticulous observations and recalculations, they concluded that Apophis is merely passing through, a celestial visitor on a grand tour of the cosmos. As we ponder Apophis's cosmic dance in 2029, Let's remember the wonders of the universe. Now, let's shift our focus to another celestial marvel. Polaris, the North Star, guiding humanity through the vastness of space. The unusual irregularities in Polaris's pulsation cycle have puzzled astronomers, prompting a closer examination of this celestial anomaly. Instead of following its usual predictable pattern of pulsations, Polaris has begun to display erratic cycles of dimming and brightening. Scientists are now raising concerns, suggesting that the star may be approaching the end of its life. This behavior, consistent with patterns observed in stars nearing the end of their lifespan, indicates a progressive elongation of Polaris's pulsation period. Traditionally stable in its cyclic dimming and brightening, this change can be attributed to interactions within the star system. Observations show an annual increase in the pulsation duration of approximately 4.5 seconds, which may seem small, but holds significant importance. Some astronomers propose that gravitational interactions between Polaris and its companion stars may have induced these fluctuations in its atmospheric conditions, directly affecting its pulsation patterns. However, others are less convinced and suspect that the star is on the brink of exploding. Polaris's enigmatic behavior bears resemblance to other stars like Betelgeuse, which have exhibited irregularities in luminosity preceding potential explosive events. Many experts have sounded the alarm about Polaris's inevitable demise. The fluctuations observed in its brightness and patterns 
mirror those seen in stars approaching the end of their life cycles. Stars in their twilight stages often exhibit such irregular behaviors before reaching their culmination. NASA has closely monitored anomalies exhibited by stars like Betelgeuse, expressing heightened concern about potential explosions. However, similar scrutiny and concern regarding Polaris have yet to be officially announced. As stars progress through their evolutionary cycles, they undergo various phases, from newborn to main sequence to red giant. The red giant phase witnesses a surge in energy output before culminating in a catastrophic explosion known as a supernova. Post-explosion, what remains is a compact core called a white dwarf. Based on Polaris's irregular pulsations, scientists predict it may have entered stages of helium depletion observed in stars nearing the end of their lives. As a star exhausts its stable helium supply, it undergoes erratic pulsations, leading to fluctuations in brightness. While these irregularities align with behaviors indicative of stars in their twilight phases, definitive indications of Polaris nearing the ultimate stage of its life cycle remain inconclusive. Astronomers continue to analyze and interpret these irregularities, striving to understand Polaris's impending fate and its implications for our understanding of the cosmos. If Polaris were to go supernova, it would likely create a spectacular event in our sky. The star would suddenly become incredibly bright, possibly even outshining the moon and becoming one of the brightest objects in the night sky. This heightened brightness could last for days, weeks, or even months. During this time, the appearance of the star might change drastically. It could transform into a brilliant point of light or a transient object, possibly developing colorful hues before eventually fading away. This visual display could temporarily alter our perception of familiar constellations like the Big Dipper or Ursa Minor, as Polaris is currently the North Star and a part of these constellations. Despite the dramatic nature of such an event, rest assured that we would be perfectly safe. Considering the mass and distance of Polaris, the Earth would likely remain unaffected even if the star were to explode. While a Polaris explosion might not be as visually striking as that of Betelgeuse, it could still be visible to the naked eye for a long distance, standing out among nearby stars. Astronomers and observatories worldwide would certainly take notice, and the scientific community and stargazers would be intrigued by the phenomenon. Let's clarify one thing. While giant stars typically end their lives with a supernova, this is unlikely to be the case with Polaris. Normally, when a massive star undergoes a supernova, a colossal explosion occurs within it, marking the final cataclysmic stage in its life. This explosion results in the dispersion of heavy elements and can sometimes lead to the formation of neutron stars or black holes. This process involves a complete collapse of the core in a high-mass star, typically around eight times the mass of our Sun. When such a star exhausts its nuclear fuel, it can no longer support itself against its own gravity, causing its core to collapse. This collapse triggers an intense shock wave that races outward, causing the star to explode violently. Supernovae are broadly categorized into two types, Type 1 and Type 2. Type 2 supernovae occur in massive stars with complex layers, where the core collapses and the outer layers are explosively expelled. This results in a burst of light and energy visible from vast distances and is more common of the two types. In contrast, Type 1 supernovae occur in binary star systems where one of the stars is a white dwarf. In one scenario, material from the companion star gets thrown into the white dwarf until it reaches a critical mass, triggering a sudden explosion. In another scenario, if two white dwarfs in a binary system merge and exceed the critical mass, a similar explosion occurs. Following a supernova, the collapse of a star's core can result in the birth of either a neutron star or a black hole. A neutron star is incredibly dense, containing approximately 1.4 to 3 times the mass of our Sun within a confined space, 
comparable to a modern-day city. On the other hand, a black hole is infinitely dense, possessing a gravitational pull so strong that even light cannot escape its grasp. However, Polaris is unlikely to end its life this way because it is not massive enough to undergo a supernova explosion. Therefore, it will not become a neutron star or a black hole. Polaris, a star that changes in brightness, is about five times bigger than the sun. It's not big enough to explode like some giant stars do. When Polaris runs out of fuel, it will shrink and become a white dwarf, a tiny but very dense star. A white dwarf is what's left when a smaller star like Polaris runs out of fuel. It's small but very heavy because it's squished down. Polaris won't make a big explosion like some stars do when they run out of fuel. Looking at other explosions in space can help us understand what might happen when Polaris changes. We can compare it to explosions we know about, like the Crab Nebula. By studying these explosions, we can learn what might happen when Polaris changes. Scientists will keep an eye on Polaris to see what happens next. By comparing it to other explosions in space, we can learn more about stars and how they change over time. As we delve deeper into understanding the behavior of stars nearing the end of their lifespans, Polaris stands as a crucial subject of study. By comparing its irregularities to observed precursors of supernovae, we aim to unravel the potential mechanisms behind its impending burst. This comparative analysis holds promise in predicting the unique outcome of Polaris's evolution within the cosmic context. Nevertheless, the enigmatic nature of Polaris's irregular pulsations presents a formidable challenge to astronomers. Despite meticulous observations and extensive analysis, we find ourselves confronted with an elusive puzzle that defies conventional explanation. Predicting the precise timing of a star's demise remains a daunting task, underscoring the complexity of celestial phenomena. The urgency to unravel the underlying mechanisms driving Polaris's anomalies cannot be overstated. Its significance as a reference point for celestial navigation and telescopic calibration underscores the gravity of the situation. Any drastic alteration in Polaris's behavior could disrupt our understanding of the universe, necessitating a concerted effort to comprehend its erratic behavior. As we navigate through this realm of uncertainties, fueled by recent revelations from the Royal Astronomical Society, it becomes imperative to embark on dedicated research endeavors. Only through a deeper understanding of Polaris's enigmatic behavior can we hope to grasp the intricacies of stellar evolution and behavior. In the face of looming uncertainty surrounding Polaris's potential burst, the scientific community must remain vigilant and resolute in its pursuit of knowledge. The loss of this celestial beacon would not only impact ground-based telescopes and celestial measurements, but also symbolize an irreplaceable loss in our quest to understand the cosmos. Therefore, let us continue to probe the depths of space, driven by an insatiable curiosity to unravel the mysteries of the universe. And as we journey through the celestial expanse, may the enigmatic allure of Polaris serve as a reminder of the boundless wonders that await our exploration.